What is good, you sexy bastards? Welcome back. It is SCG, and I have another GTA 5 online video for you today. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also smash that like while you're at it. If you want to become a channel member, you can also click join just to the left of subscribe. Check out our new website at StellaCrewGaming.com, and you can also find us on all of our social media platforms at just Stella Crew Gaming. With all that being said, guys, I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get it. All right, here we are, guys. In today's video, we are going to show you a Torso 2 merge. Now, I did this in real time in the background. I actually tried to record my voice audio or my voice over originally in the beginning, but I forgot to turn off the damn radio music in the shop. So, unfortunately, I had to do another voiceover. So, I do apologize. We are not going to have any actual gameplay audio in the background, just me talking away for the next 15 minutes. So, it is a bit of a long video. It is going to be the two torso merge. So, this is an older method. It's been around, I guess, for a while now, uh, but it is still working. So, with DMO being patched, uh, this is really the not only option, but I guess best option to do a torso to merge, especially if you're going to be doing armor. Um, you could also use Bef for a lot of this, um, but to make it kind of the easiest, definitely this is going to be the best way to go. Now, requirements, you are going to actually still need to do Bef, so you're going to need two consoles. You're going to need save editor and save wizard. All right, and you're also going to just go ahead and modify your save so that we're going to have two separate outfits that we need to bring online to merge them together to be able to give us this, tor this torso to merge. So I'm doing a female character. This works for female and male. But for the female, we're going to be wearing the white tracksuit top. Okay, so that's what we have to wear for the female component on the first outfit. So for console one, we're going to be wearing the white tracksuit top. Um, for the male, we would be using the orange tracksuit top. Uh, beyond that, you're just going to go ahead and modify it however you want. So I've got the white joggers, I've got the white deadline shoes. Um, I've already gone ahead and took this online, so I will leave a link down below for the method to take this online. And I've already merged the belt and the gloves onto this particular outfit. So I've got console 1 white and I've got console 2 white. So the first one, like I said, is going to have the white track jacket. And the second one is going to have the flight suit top. All right, so for the female, it's 41-0, so drawable 41. Texture is 0, and for the male, it is 48-0. So you want to make sure you have those on. So those are the two outfits. Um, like I said, I've got the invisible torso 1 and gloves, so I can just merge these guys in Crooked Cop once, the, once I bring them online. So I'm not going to show that, but I will, like I said, leave a link down below to the actual video on how you do that. So those are the two outfits that we want to bring online. Now, once we've done that, I'm also going to do the helmet at the same time here. So I've got the bulletproof on the console 2 outfit, and I've got the biker helmet, which corresponds with the white bulletproof helmet on console 1. I'm also going to flip the gloves at the same time. So I do have the um, gray digital tactical gloves on console 2, which is going to give me the black racing gloves, which is what I want. So I don't want the pink, but I just happen to have an outfit with pink gloves and a racing belt or gun belt already. So I use that to merge them on there. So, but that's okay because I can go ahead and flip the color using Beth. So those are the two outfits we're going to require. Now we're also going to have to uh, own a couple of accessories as well. So we're going to go over the accessory wall here, I think, in a second. Um, so like I said, I'm doing the voiceover after now, so I'm kind of scrolling back and forth. So you got console one track jacket, torso, torso two, or console two, the flight jacket. Yeah. So track jacket on one, flight jacket on two and then however else you want to do it. Now, I do recommend also just putting the belt and gloves. If you have the right color gloves, you can go ahead and put them on both outfits. And then we're going to put the top that we want to merge in slot 19 or slot 1. So you want it either in the first slot or the last slot. So since you guys love your deadline so much, I got deadline there saved as new outfit 19, which is the 20th spot. So you could obviously do this for jerseys if you got different colored jerseys or any top you want, but would purposes of the video, we're going to use the deadline. So the accessories we need. So first of all, we want to go for the female. We want necklaces. We want to actually have the pearl pendant necklace. All right. So that is the component that will actually flip this for us. And then for the male, you want to have the scarf, either the red or green. Unfortunately, they don't show up here, obviously, on the female. But you want to have the red and green, just the, kind of like the classic scarf. Okay. Now, you also um, are going to need, obviously, um, sunglasses, because that's going to flip the helmet for us. And you want to have the classic parachute as well. 
So I'm going to go ahead and force a save. So I'm going to put the glasses on. I'm going to put the pennant on. I want to make sure I have the classic shoot bag, and I'm going to put that on. And then I'm going to back out of the interaction menu, and I should get the loading circle just like that in the bottom right-hand corner. So this is all we need to do for console one. We've got that set up. So from here, we're going to go ahead and get ready to log into console two. So once you've got that orange circle in the bottom right-hand corner, you're going to go ahead and use your net cut for this one. All right, so I will leave a link down below for net cut if you don't have that already. So it's rk.com, I believe. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to want to fully disconnect your internet for this BEF method. Um, so I will leave a video down below as well showing how to do the bulletproof helmets with this. It is the same method. So once we've completely disconnected the internet, we're going to go ahead and log into our second console. Always have it in story mode first and just kind of go ahead and launch it right into an invite only session. If you're completely loading the app, you're not going to have enough time. So I always load my second console first. Um, I'll basically just put it right where it says um, start up an invite only session and I'll just hover over that and then I will log out. This way when I do log in, I'm ready to just go ahead and spam X. Okay? Now on console one, I also like to just to get ready my console one outfit here in the interaction menu. So this way when I do come back to console one, I'm just going to hit X to reselect the outfit which is going to take the parachute, the glasses, and the pennant off. Um, and then I'm just going to hit circle to back out quickly to force that save. So if you go through and try to you know, remove those accessories one by one, it's going to take you longer. So this is a little tip as well. Just have that ready. All right. So as soon as we drop in here on console two, we're going to open up our action menu. We want to go to the C2 white outfit. We're going to put on the glasses and the parachute only because obviously we cannot put a pennant on with the flight suit. So glasses, parachute, we're going to get the save in the bottom right, and then we want to go back to story. So hold down on the direction pad, and then you can hit up to go to Franklin or left to Michael or whichever, and it's going to take us back to story. So again, this is all in real time, so not too bad. So this outfit took, um, I think, about 15 minutes in total. That's even going into Crooked Cop. So once you get the hang of it, it goes pretty quick. Um, the only thing I don't obviously factor in is bringing the two outfits online. So once we load back to story just like this, I like to get it prepped again. So I like to go over to online, hover over, start GTA online, and then I'm going to go ahead and log out. So once I log out, as soon as I've completely logged out, like that, there we go, we're completely logged out. I'm going to reconnect my Wi-Fi. I'm going to select that outfit and then spam circle. All right, so I'm spamming circles so that I back out, and I'm still here, so I still had some time left. So you can't see the save in the bottom right-hand corner because I still have the picture-in-picture, picture. but I selected the outfit, I spam circle, I got the loading in the bottom right-hand corner, and then there you go, it eventually logs you out of the account. So all you got to do is log back in. So we're just going to log back in, it's going to kick us back to story. Now once we go back to story, all we need to do is start up a new session. Now, one little tip for you guys as well, because we still have to merge this to the actual torso 2 that we want. So I always go into a public session, okay? Now, to do BEF, BEF, you want to do it in a private. Always do it in an invite-only session, because if you're in a public, you're going to lag out a lot quicker. So for the actual BEF method itself, make sure you are in an invite-only session, all right? Um, but when you are going to be doing the crooked cop part, unless you have a friend online that's going to be able to help you, or if you want to log back into your second console under a different account, um, you know, but then you got to load back in and everything else. So what I always do is I always make sure my matchmaking is on open, and I will just go into a public session. Now, also, if you saw there, all those um, join crew members, crews, creator, that was all grayed out. That means you're not connected to the internet quite yet, so just wait until those highlight white. Once they're highlighted white, then you can go into your invite-only session. If you try to go into a new session um, too quickly, it's just going to say the Rockstar servers are unavailable, and it's going to kick you back to story, and then you'll have to do it again anyways. So, again, I'm actually just doing a public session, so I went to go. So I went to go instead of an invite-only session. You'll have a better chance of finding people to join your Crooked Cop, um, or if you have your matchmaking open, like I said, um, you'll have a better chance of going into somebody else's uh, actual crooked cop so this way you're not sitting there for 20 minutes 30 minutes waiting for somebody to join your crooked cop so just a little tip for you make sure you always go to a public session uh, and make sure your matchmaking is turned on this way you can either get into a ra random session or you can start up your own and you'll have more chances of people coming to join you all right 
So, here we go. We're loading in. We're loading in. So, again, this is real time, guys. So, I wish I could have kept my original audio on there because it did really, I mean, it did a good job. <laughs> and now I'm like, you know, you got to stutter and you got to try to, you know, do your voice to the video. It's a lot more difficult doing it this way. Um, so, but I'm getting getting used to this new setup. I'm using new software. I got a new microphone today as well. Um, so, I finally got that working. So, hopefully that sounds okay. Um... It definitely, from what I heard, there's going to be, it's not as echoey as my other one because the other one I was using a stream mic, um, so it wasn't actually like by the mouth. Um, so it was picking up a lot more other kind of surrounding noise. And then I'm in a big room, so, you know, obviously I don't have any sound deadening and stuff like that. So hopefully this one is less echoey, uh, a little bit more clear sound as well. Um, so, oh, my screen timed out. What the heck? There we go. Couldn't see what I was doing there for a second. I'm going to turn that sleep mode off this PC. So eventually, you know, you spend more time in the clouds than actually doing the glitches. I mean, if you actually took out the time that we were in the clouds, this would probably only take two minutes. But, you know, good old Rockstar servers. They'll patch everything under the sun, but they can't fix the damn servers. But, you know, whatever. All right, so now you can tell that it actually flipped, obviously, because our helmet's white. All right, our gloves have flipped, so we got the black gloves on. So the two things that we wanted to flip, which was with the gloves and the helmet, it actually worked. So that's great. That's perfect. Uh, but you can also notice I do have the gun belt on the flight suit top as well. So that means that our torso 2 um, from console 2 actually merged on here. So what you want to do from here is go ahead and start up that crooked cop. Now, do not go in the clothing store. Do not open up any of the um, options in the clothing store. So even if you went into like the top section or the bottom section or you went to the front desk, do not do any of that or change anything on the outfit. Just take it straight into Crooked Cop. If any, by any means you try to save it before you go to Crooked Cop or you try to change anything on it before you go to Crooked Cop, it's going to like brick the outfit and it's not going to merge. All right, so make sure you do that before. Um, otherwise, this will not work. All right, I got my daughter doing commentary with me here as well. Say hello. You say hello. No. Okay. Just gonna watch Daddy work. All right. So we're going to Crooked Cop. This will probably take well, probably about two minutes before somebody joins. But again, uh, make sure you obviously got your clothing on player owned. And then you're just gonna go ahead and match make an open. Do an auto invite. You can invite people from your session, crew members, friends, everything else, just to kind of get somebody in there. I think I kind of lucked out and somebody joined me pretty quick. Okay, you want my toys? She likes my little pop toys. My little pop toys. Got Darth Vader, not Darth Vader, what's that one? Stormtrooper, sorry. Stormtrooper, my bad. And Prince. Gotta have Prince. Purple Rain. Alright. So here we go. So we're launching it up. So once we go in here, like I said, we've got our deadline suit saved in slot 20 or slot 1. If it's in slot 20, we're going to go one to the right and then back to, or sorry, one to the left and then back to the right. If it's in spot 1, we're going to go one to the right and back to the left. All right. So depending on what slot you have it in, you're going to go once to the left, once to the right, once to the right, once to the left. <laughs> if that makes sense. All right. Uh, launching, launching, launching. That's it, guys. I mean, that's it. Once we got that merge, we can go ahead and save it. And that's pretty much it. So, again, this is an older method. We've had this now for quite a while, actually. Probably almost a year, I think. Um, I'm not too sure if EM. I think EM was the original founder or at least one of the partial founders or something like that. So, big shout out to EM Glitch, as always. Uh, he is always, you know, coming up with these cool outfit glitches. So, once to the left, once to the right, and boom, there we go. we got the racing gloves. we got the deadline top. we got the body armor. Um, so make sure for body armor, it's on console 1 and console 2 outfits. So when you are loading your save wizard save or save editor save, um, make sure you do have the armor that you want on both consoles. So again, do them exactly the same. This way you don't have to worry about things like uh, colors flipping, like joggers and stuff like that. Just do them the exact same. So have white joggers, white deadline, or whatever you're doing. Um, build them up the same. Just change the torso. So on the like I said, on console 1, you're going to have the track jacket. Uh, console 2, you're going to have the flight suit jacket. Um, and then this way there's not going to be any complications with, you know, maybe the shoes changing color and things like that, which does happen a lot with Beth um, if you're using different textures. All right. So that's it. So we've got the gun belt on here. So it's fully modified. The only thing I don't have is the eye badge because I don't have this on this character. Um, but if you did have that, you would just um, make sure you're wearing the IA badge before you bring the Save Wizard outfits online. Um, so just like every other previous glitch, so you'd always have just make sure you have the IA badge. 
Uh, you can put it on the console one and the console two outfit just to make sure. Um, but what happens when you do the console one outfit generally because you're putting the necklace on is going to take the IA badge off. But then when you go back to console one and you actually select that outfit, it's going to put it back on because it's saved on the outfit. All right. So if you haven't seen yet, I have a full playlist on the BEF. Um, so full playlist tutorials on the BEF method. Probably about 20 videos now. So I have a full modded outfit video, um, which I think this is actually covered in there as well. Um, as well as other ones like merging different pants and tops like Gorka pants with different um, you know astronaut tops and things like that so I've got quite a few videos so make sure you guys go back and watch those this will be part of that playlist as well um, so you can go back and watch all the previous videos and just kind of see what you guys can do with this particular Bef glitch so very powerful um, just unfortunately have to have the two consoles but um, yeah if you don't have one yet go get yourself a second console probably going to be pretty cheap here soon that PS5 is coming out so take advantage of it while you can um, and then yeah we're just loading in now and I'm just going to save it and that's it um, so if you guys haven't checked out the website yet go check it out still kind of work in progress StellarCrewGaming.com uh, of course like I said in the intro you can go ahead and check us out on any social media at Stellar Crew Gaming. if this is too difficult for you you do not have the time or you do not have the consoles I do offer outfit services so my pricing is on the website as well as you can DM me on any social media as well if you wish to know the pricing so if you don't have the means to do this I can offer the service as well. Uh, but that's it, guys. So we're going to go ahead and save this outfit. And that is the glitch. So two console, uh, Bef method, and this is a torso two merge. So still working as of today, May 22nd. And so still the best way to merge two consoles or to uh, merge your torso two. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So that being said, hope you enjoyed the video. It's the next one. This is your boy SCG, and I'm out. Mm -hmm.